Okay, very good. Okay, so John is up next. Um, Tom, you're number four. Okay, uh, just a short uh, talk. I'm looking for people interested in a project I have uh, interest in. I want to start out by saying two weeks ago on the first weekend in September, a group of uh, Boy Scouts in Europe were testing their homebrew antennas in preparation for the Boy Scout on the Air Jamboree third weekend in October. Now, these antennas were special. They were 22 element, 432 high gain Yaggies. And the reason why they were building Yaggies was the, uh, now if I can pronounce this right, the Dwingaloo uh, Dwingaloo uh, Radio Observatory in France was, or in France, in uh, Holland, uh, Netherlands, was uh, doing moon bounce with these kids. Now, what's special about that? Uh, this radio telescope was going to be demolished. It was deemed obsolete for uh, research astronomy. And then the ham radio community in the Netherlands and the amateur astronomy uh, community stepped in to work to save this antenna. It is now regularly used for EME communication by the hams in that community. And what I'm looking at is we have a similar situation. Go ahead and do the second one. Uh, yeah, OK. We have, at the University of Michigan, a 26-meter radio telescope on Peach Mountain, which is about 10 miles uh, west of Ann Arbor, and if you can slide up to get the pictures, that would be great. Um, the University Exploration Lab is in the College of Engineering, the Aerospace Engineering Department in particular, and uh, this radio telescope was given to them by the Astronomy Department that decided, when the Astronomy Department decided they didn't want to do the upkeep, and the Aerospace Engineering Department has a number of hams, number of the professorial staff who are hams, because if you're going to build a CubeSat and you want it to be on amateur radio frequencies, your uh, sponsor should have an amateur radio license. So I got in touch with uh, James Cutler, KF6RFX, KF6RFX, who is associate professor of uh, aeronautical engineering, space engineering at Michigan. Two minutes. And, okay, thank you. I'll be able to do it. He is very interested in doing EME and other things with the ham radio community with this 85-foot dish that is not currently being used. Now, it needs some repair. I'm looking for people who are interested in EME, who are interested in radio astronomy, who are interested in getting this thing working, who want to join with me. Uh, my call is W-A-8-T-O-N. You can just remember that because nobody's going to mess with you when you weigh eight ton. And uh, so uh, get a hold of me and let me know if you're interested. It's in the Ann Arbor area, but... Uh, I could use expertise from all over. So thank you very much, and that should do it. Thank you very much.